Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a first impression review on a brand new flat iron that I got. If you guys saw my last video I did all about products that I have recently been testing out, you might have seen me mention this and that very briefly, but I'm finally doing the first impression review for you guys, so I can't wait to show you what I think about it. So this is the Bioionic 10x Pro Styling Iron. This is a 1 inch. This has vibrating plates for smooth style in under 10 minutes natural volcanic mineral infused microhydration ultimate shine and condition. This is available at sephora.com too. This one was really great and it just was fantastic so I can't wait to share my opinions with you guys. There's only one little thing that I wasn't too crazy about but I will get into that. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how I went from very curly and frizzy crazy hair to this really silky smooth shiny hair. So let's get started. So now that my hair looks completely crazy, after I blow dried it, I also applied a couple products. I'll be sure to put those on my blog if you're interested. But you definitely want to use a heat protectant. This is the Aveda Brilliant Damage Control. This helps protect hair from thermal heat styling and UV rays. So I've already applied that and I've brushed through it. I've blow dried it all crazy, so now I'm just going to section it off. Okay, so I'm just going to take really small sections, probably about like this, that's what I usually do. And then I'm just going to take a comb and go over that. I've already applied my heat protectant, like I said. Um, I like to let that dry so I'm not like sizzling my hair with it on each strand. But So I'm just going to hold it like this and then go down just the roots. Slowly pull it down. So this is the very first pass that I've done on my hair. And I'm surprised how straight that got it. Usually it takes a couple passes. It feels a tad little bit crunchy just because I have that heat protection in my hair. But wow, I'm really shocked. That's already straight. That's crazy. i just go back over the roots real quick. I really like the way the tip is shaped, how it's kind of pointed. So that allows me to get right at my roots, which is definitely what I need. So I don't even need to go over this again, like, which is great because that can save your hair from using too much heat. So now for this one, why don't we try to do the vibrating thing that it has. So it says you just press the power button once and then, I don't know if you can hear that, but when you press the plates together, that's actually when it vibrates. So weird. really interesting. I don't really see how that is supposed to make that much of a difference. Is that it's supposed to make it smoother? Oh, and by the way, I do have mine set on 380. I probably could have it on less. I just kind of started high because I wasn't sure, but I should probably turn that down since it's already getting my hair really straight. Wow, I'm so impressed. I'm really curious to see how long this is going to last, if it can stand up to the humidity. It's supposed to be really warm this week, so I'm really curious to how it holds up. The thing I like about it is it's super lightweight because my arms would always get really tired, especially as long as it takes me to do my hair. I feel like this is going to take way less time compared to other flat irons because I only have to go over once. So that was a little under five minutes just for the bottom portion. So I'm really curious as to how it works when curling your hair with the flat iron because that's something I love to do. So I'm actually going to try that just on this strand here. We're just going to straighten right here. Oh, it's getting caught a little bit on the tip. That was a little uncomfortable. Nothing too bad though. It's going to be a pain. Like it wasn't like pulling it out, but it was getting a little hung up when I was like going into the hair versus like sectioning it and starting right here. So maybe that's something you can't really do with this. Let's just go straight in with the tip. Oh my god, that was so easy and really, really smooth. Wow, like now I'm going to curl my whole hair because that came out so good. Wow, I'm really impressed. Now that I'm finally done with my hair, that only took me about 30 minutes to straighten my hair entirely, which is amazing. You guys know it used to take me hours to do my hair and this is way faster. I think it's only because it only took one pass on each strand so I was able to get through the whole thing a lot faster. But I can tell a huge difference in my hair. I'm really curious as to how this is actually going to last so I will be sure to kind of keep an eye on it for the next couple days. I'll probably keep this style most of the week, probably four days or five days depending on how greasy it gets um, and I will see how well it holds up if I have to touch it up every day 
that sort of thing is the pain, so hopefully it will stay straight. So I have super curly hair, you guys know that, so it really makes a huge difference when the flat iron is very high quality because that helps it stay straight to where I don't have to keep damaging it with more heat. But another thing that I wanted to call out, which is just incredible, and I will show you guys up close, is I don't have any split ends from this, and that is just unheard of. Every time I straighten my hair, I always end up with a couple split ends here and there. I don't see any. I have not straightened my hair at all. I haven't done anything like with a high amount of heat on it since I last had my hair cut, which was about four weeks ago. Um, so this is the first time I've put any like major heat on the ends other than just like my blow dryer, and I don't have any split ends. So it looks like they're split from far away just because my hair is very thin, and so on the ends it just kind of sticks out, you know, like this. But if you look at the individual hairs, there are no split ends. So that is just phenomenal, and that's really what has sold me with this. So that is it for my first impression review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and definitely let me know in the comments if you plan to try this out for yourself. If you have really curly hair, I think this is going to be great. Or if you just have straight hair, it's going to be phenomenal too. The only thing that I was not very big on is my hair was getting caught in the very tip of it. There must be some type of like you know, groove within there that the hair is sliding in underneath. But other than that, I just have to be careful with the way that I'm like putting it into my hair when if I'm just like kind of going like this. But for me, I section it off anyway, so that is not a big deal to me. Everything else was phenomenal. So we'll see how it does for the rest of the week. I will definitely let you guys know on the blog post that goes with this video so you can read more about my experience later in the week. So that will all be on there. I will also have a link to this flat iron in the description box down below where you can check it out. And also links to all the products that I used will be on the blog post with this video. That will be the first one in the description box down below. Be sure to check out my other hair tutorials and straightening videos, more about my whole routine and how I get my hair perfectly straight. I will link those for you guys in the description down below too. So thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to my next video. Bye, everyone. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a first impression review of the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Eyeliner. This is a brand new product from the drugstore. I've really been wanting to try out more products.